Hey guys, uh, welcome to pretty much the last part of this engine re rebuild. Unfortunately, in the beginning, I was kind of fiddling around a bit, so uh, I didn't go step by step. But uh, what you actually need to do is, if you already have installed, then remove the primary gear. Um, that's also why we didn't torque it yet, of course. Then you're going to drop in the cam chain. Then you're going to keep the chain under tension and installing the primary gear again. And then you're going to install the intake cam chain guide and then you're going to install the cams. So this is my favorite schematic of the, the climber manual. So we have um, the amount of pins in between and we have um, the direction of the cam pointing. So now with that manually hold on, held under tension, we are actually good to go already and now we need to check the amount of pins and actually the reason why I'm not doing that piece or that part here fully um, before adding the camshaft is because in here you have half the amount of teeth as you have up here. So if you happen to um, put the timing chain in just one two further Then actually what won't add up here, which I guess doesn't matter But I want to have it the proper way is that it wouldn't meet with the left side of the of the link But with the right side of the link so it's not the first pin here so that the other pin and uh, As we can see here now this tree is pointing up to the first pin and not the second so that's already fine and now we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pins so that's actually what they say aligned with the 15 pin the two should be aligned with the first pin so that's now properly set up and all the arrows are level here Hey guys, sorry I'm having some battery issues, so I already went ahead and adjusted the valve plate. Um, what I did is, because I had no, in, uh, no idea on the valve plate at the beginning, I just added in some shims I've commonly seen on these engines and then checked the, without putting on the cap if there's a little gap on here on the camshaft or not. So. Uh, Actually, I came up with a 295 at first, 295 at the exhaust valves on both sides and 275 on the intake sides. And then I measured the valve clearance just by taking a feeler gauge and then taking, let's say, uh, a 25, which should now work on the exhaust and then see if that works on all valves and then once you feel um, the 25 works then let's go ahead and let's try a 30 maybe see if that works as well so that's a 0 0.3 0 0.3 doesn't go in 
So that clearance now is somewhere between 0.25 and 0.3, so less than 0.3, which is actually brilliant because here we need to have 0.2 up until 0.3 and on the intake side 0.1 to 0.2. And I ended up with a 305 on both exhaust valves and a 282 shim on both intake valves. Yes, then that's for the valve play. Um, then I already installed some minor bolts. Here is a bolt with a copper washer behind it. And then on this side here, since it's an E-model, we have this block off plate for the uh, manual decompression lever. It's actually just a shaft put in here with this plate. And then we have a bolt that holds this little block off shaft in place. Um, and the next and last thing we are gonna do to this engine is I actually am gonna install a thermostat um, because the E-model usually doesn't have one. On the E-models you'll usually just get this little gasket here, no thermostat. And uh, what that does, what this thermostat does is it just helps to heat up the engine faster because it only opens the coolant to flow through the um, radiators once um, it, it reaches a certain temperature and this one here just lets everything pass um, once the fuel uh, the water pump works so I'm gonna add in this thermostat like that and then we have this outlet here for the coolant hose and we're just going to carefully fold that on. So now that part is pretty much done. And I'm just going to take some more oil and uh, squirt it in here all over the place on the camshaft. Okay, that should be fine. And now we can actually go ahead and add this um, cover with this gasket here and then make sure to put some sealant around these lips here um, otherwise they, they won't seal properly Then we have these bolts here with a, with a little washer and they go in here. And now we're going to torque it to 14 Newton meters. Now I already put the spark plug in, so that's done. And then we basically um, can, once it's dried up, we can clean up that excess uh, sealant. And then we are done with the cylinder head and the stator side of the engine. So that's all done now. Um, and as a next step, we can actually hop over and finish installing the clutch and the water pump. And also we need to still tighten these uh, nuts here, these nuts.